My name is Jennifer Lanzetti. I'm 37 years old and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. So I own a virtual construction business. I have a 10 year hiccup in my past. So when I was about 18, I got a disease It's called endometriosis. Very painful, a lot of internal bleeding, a lot of visits to the hospital. I coped with it pretty well for about two years and then I started self-medicating. First it was prescription drugs, then it was marijuana, cocaine, heroin, anything to make the pain go away. When I was 23, they diagnosed me with cancer and not to mention I got in a little trouble with the law. So life was, uh, I was about five and a half feet under at this point and I remember laying on the couch one day and I said, you know what? I'm done. I want to live again. I don't, I'm not ready to go down like this. So I did my six months, got out, went to drug rehab, found my own place. You know, when you're going through AA and drug rehab, it's new playground, new play friends, new everything. So started going to AA, started valuing my life more, went back to college, worked my way up to a director position in a major construction company. And then I said, you know what, hell with this, go big. And I opened up my own construction company. So the very first thing I thought of when I wanted to apply for Survivor, I said, this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy to survive because there's only one thing that makes something easy and that's practice. I've had a lot of practice surviving. I mean, think about it. Look at everything I've been through. And like I said, the challenges haven't stopped. It's not like that 10 years was all I went through. It's a day-to-day -day thing with my business. Being a female, being outspoken, not being Mormon, that's a challenge in itself. So every day I'm digging and trying and you know calling clients, always digging for work, always making big moves that may or may not make people happy, but I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about providing value and getting my business and keeping my employees fed. So like I said, this is easy because I've had a lot of practice. So I'm gonna win Survivor because I think, it I think it takes three things to win Survivor. Mentally, you have to have a really, really strong mind because there's gonna be days out here that are absolute hell. And like I said, I've, I've had a little practice there. So I'm very strong mentally. I'm a hard worker. I'm gonna be out there hunting and fishing and looking for food because this is a really little body and this body needs to eat. But socially, I love people. I make people feel welcome. I make people feel comfortable with me. I mean, that's how I've been successful in my business is I'm a people person. So with those three things, I don't see why I can't win. So the one thing that I could see is actually being, you know how they say qualities are a double-edged sword? I am really nice. I'm a, I'm a very kind person because I've seen what it's like to be on the other side when I wasn't a kind person and life was very painful to be mean. So I'm really kind and I have a lot of integrity so lying to people over and over again and, and manipulating them, there's something to be said about it's not whether your behavior is good or bad, it's whether be, your behavior gets the results that you want. Well, sure, I want to win, but I don't want to win at the expense of crushing somebody else. So I stay really fit. I love CrossFit. I love doing CrossFit. I love doing anything physical. Uh, so maybe you've seen the shirts that say, Anything like I run or I work out to work out the crazies, that's me. I have a very stressful job. I take on a lot of responsibility. So I run, I lift, um, I do endurance races, anything that has to do with challenges, I'm all for it. That's actually gonna be the, my favorite part is the challenges in this game. So I think I have the best strategy that you can have in the game of Survivor. So the Marines always have a saying, it's Semper Fi, which means always ready. Well, mine's Semper Gumby, which means always flexible. I can change at a moment's, no mo moment's notice, depending on the situation. Whatever the situation calls for, that's what I'm gonna do. If someone's really bothering me, absolutely not. I'm not gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> They're bothering me. I think that's the biggest mistake people make in this game is they adjust their behavior a little too much to make everyone else happy, and next thing you know, they're out. People may not like me, they're but they're gonna respect me, and that's way more important to me in this game, because I'm not here necessarily to make lifelong friends. I'm here to have the title of winner and to win the million dollars, but respect goes a long way in this game. 